Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. If I pop down here. All right, well, this is as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Let's see if I can just angle you up a tiny bit more. That might be better. Whatever. Let's go with it. So, this is the bulk of my handbags. Where shall we begin? Let's start with the ones I love the most. I have to that dry cleaning right here. And I'm definitely keeping. So we'll start with Hermes. I have three Hermes bags. Two Kellys and I can't remember the name of the other one. So this was the first Hermes bag I ever bought myself. I did do a video when I bought this. This was my, um, after I got diagnosed with breast cancer, and I think shortly after my first surgery, I requested this, and it took a while, but lo and behold, it came through. Then, this is what I'm actually using it now. I'm like, why is this heavy? Because all my stuff's in it. But, so this is a Retorn Kelly. This is a Cellier. I don't know, I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, the difference is the Retorn is like, you know, more, not floppy, but less, what's the word? Anyway, the Kelly is more structured. This is not really structured. This is also a 28 centimeter. This is a 32 centimeter. This is the classic gold, which is tan. They, Hermes calls this gold. This color is like rouge sock or something like that. So those are my two Kellys. Never getting rid of either of those. Then I have this other bag. I think this color is, the, it's like a taupe. I think they call it etoupe. Um, I'll, if I can remember the name of the get bag, I'll put it up here on the screen. But this I bought um, at Rebag, which is a, you know, a consignment vintage secondhand shop. shop. And um, I had seen somebody carrying this, and then I emailed my person at Hermes and it described it, and he told me what it was called, and then it's discontinued. So I hunted this one down. This is kind of just like a classic, like, hobo-style bag. So those are definitely keeping. Now, since we just covered this bag, Let's talk about a couple other bags I have that kind of do the same thing in terms of like the shape and the functionality. And this is one of them. And actually, I really love this bag. So this is a Fendi bag. Um, also like, you know, similar color, similar shape. Um, this actually, my sister had borrowed that. Is this the one she borrowed or the other one? But anyway, this, this bag really usually goes like this. It has one short strap and then the long strap that it came with is um, not this one. This one I bought separately. I, I think it was just a plain one. But so basically it can either be a shoulder bag or a top handle. And then if you put the two straps together, it's long enough to be crossbody. So this is a, let's put it in the pile of like, should I keep it or should I not? So let's put that over here. And then similarly, I have this Fendi bag, same, same idea with the straps. So these are the two straps made long enough to be one. Here's, this opens up into one you know, compartment there. So let's also put this in the pile of like, should I stay or should I go? Okay, then let's mold into the same color family, shall we? This I'm definitely not getting rid of. I got it recently. I did a video on it. I can't recall if I put it up or not when I bought it. But I have these two Dior, Lady Dior's. These are both the matte, Lady Dior's and I had bought this one first a while ago and the, the leather is matte and also the hardware is monochromatic metal matte same color right same thing here so these are exactly the same bag same size only difference is one is matte navy one is matte nude definitely keeping these two love them 
I love these bags. They go crossbody. You can hold them top handle. Um, they fit a nice amount of stuff. So those two are definitely keepers. And then, all right, maybe to stay with the Dior. This is a, do I keep it or not? This is a beautiful bag. Classic, beautiful bag. But I guess similar to the Kelly, it's kind of, again, that same style, right? You know, if you close this, same idea, only this has two handles, this has one. But again, you have a longer strap. Um, and I do love this bag, but I, for me personally, find, oh, I have more bags up there. Holy guacamole. Okay. Um, but with this bag, I do find that um, when I buy gray, I, I don't wear gray as much. And if I do wear gray, I probably wear a bright color bag versus a gray bag. But anyway, so this is a gray, I can't remember the name of this Dior bag. Dior Ever? This might be the Dior Ever. So then let's put this in the baby pile. And actually, before we go any further, hold on. Ah! Okay, I have like a coat rack there and all of these were hanging up on the coat rack. So let's not lose sight of these. Okay, Chanel, Chanel, Gucci, Chanel. Okay. So. All right, let's move on to Gucci. Chanel will take the longest because those are the ones I have the most Chanel bags. I love this bag. You know, new bag, but vintage bag, you know, vintage style, vintage print. I literally had this bag in the 80s and regret that I sold it, so I'll never get rid of this. This is a great, easy to wear bag, really lightweight, fits a lot, crossbody, great travel bag. Definitely, this is a keeper. Um, Okay, Gucci. This is a soup, now this is a small Marmont in the deep red velvet. This is great for evening. Definitely keeping this, love this bag. Okay. This is my Gucci tote. It's very big, it's a great travel bag. Definitely keeping this, love this bag. Okay, then other, the other Gucci bag, okay. Then I have the Gucci Marmont. And so the question I have with this bag is, this fits the same need. As my um, Chanel boy. So I'm contemplating getting rid of this. Because if I want a bag in this shape, crossbody, this size, I'm usually reaching for the Chanel boy. Having said that, this is a little less structured, it's a little more malleable, so sometimes easier to squeeze things in. It might be a little lighter. Um, it's a great bag, but it's going in the maybe pile. Okay. Where do we go from here? All right, let's go to my most recently purchased bag, which you guys have seen, I showed you. Um, but this is my Bottega Veneta, I forget what they call this bag. But I love the nod to the 80s of this bag. Like, I'm pretty sure I had a bubbly bag like this, like circa 1986 or something. I love the bright color. I love the like very bright, you know, gold hardware. Um, I will say if you're sensitive to something being heavy, these chains are heavy, but I love this bag. Again, you can do top handle, or you can do over the shoulder, or this, you know, this, it's long enough to be crossbody. So I just bought this, so obviously this goes in the stay file. Okay. Okay, most everything else is Chanel, is the least two, the least two so let's cover the non-Chanel bags. This, in case you can't tell, this is most, you know. It's a fabric graffiti print bag. I bought this bag on sale, like I don't know how many years ago, and I still flip and love it. 
Like, I will forever be a child of the 80s with a conspicuous consumption. Moschino is just like, I just think this is a super cool bag. It's, you know, a, a basically a flap handbag, similar, like, you know, similar to a Chanel flap, like, in terms of functionality. This is lighter because of the, um, you know, it's fabric. Um, and again, it can be over the shoulder or longer and worn crossbody. I have not worn this in a while, but I love this, so I'm gonna whip this back out soon. Keep. And then, okay, this is a super cute Fendi bag. I bought this strap separately, but it just comes with this one chain strap, which you can either make shorter or make longer and work crossbody. Um, it's super cute because of the studs. Oh, I'm like, what's in here? Just tissue. But anyway, it's got two compartments. Like, it's a great little bag. So this is a maybe because I also have this. Now, this I can't wear crossbody. The strap is too short. Um, but, you know, similar shape, similar color. So let's put this in the maybe pile. So this leads me to, this is the... Um, trendy, the Chanel trendy bag. And at first I did not love the plate at the top, but it has grown on me. I initially, when I got this bag, I had seen this one and had put my name in for this one, this burgundy one. I really liked this color. I also like that the, um, the quilting is larger. So I, I wanted this one and I bought this one. And then this one came in. So I have both of them. And I I actually can't tell you how much I love the trendy bag. So that's a definite keeper. Both of them. Um, similar. I don't know what the name of this bag is, but I bought this bag like, I mean, a long time ago. I've had this bag a long time. But you can see it's really like a similar shape. Obviously it's a little different because it has a chain handle. The, this one is long enough to be crossbody, but it's got like, it's got, you know, three, like the middle compartment is a zip compartment, two side compartments. I'm going to keep this. I also, this is the only green bag I have, so I'll definitely keep that. And then kind of the same shape, um, you know, as these. So this is the Chanel, what do they call this? The Coco handle maybe? So it's similar to the trendy. It doesn't have the bar on top, but you know, it's, and this is also a bigger size, but it's pretty big. It has a top handle. It comes with, um, the strap it comes with is your typical Chanel, you know, chain strap. Um, I was wearing this last week and this is an Hermes strap. Um, that is long enough to go crossbody. The long strap that comes with this is a little short for crossbody. So I love this bag. That's a definite keeper. Okay. We're whittling it down. Okay. This, I bought this, I don't remember when. My sister also bought it. This, I love a bucket bag. Again, total, actually this is a nod to the 80s and 90s because the bucket style, I can remember having bags in the 80s, but this, like just, this looks very 90s. When this came out, I like, I, I saw it in the store, in the boutique, uh, the Neiman Marcus Chanel up in um, White Plains. And I, I got it and I use it way more than I would have ever, given I have all these bags, how much I use this is incredible. It's just one big open bag, it has one little zip pocket, it's crossbody and it's really lightweight and you can just fit a lot in here, it's really practical. This is, of all these bags, like one of my very favorite bags. Definitely a keeper. Okie dokie. Where else should we go? So let's go. This is the only classic double flap I have. I don't know what, this is probably, I don't know what it is, Jumbo Maxi. It's pretty big. It's in kind of a nude caviar leather. Um, it's your classic Chanel double flap. You know, it's not much more to say. I don't wear this a ton, but it's a classic and I'm not gonna get rid of it. Okay, we're 
whittling away. This is the one Chanel, um, what do we call this? The name of this bag, whatever this is. I can't believe I can't think of it. But anyway, it's kind of a denim -y blue. I use it as a travel bag, a tote bag, a beach bag. It's really a lovely bag. Um, definitely keeping that. Okay. Now, okay. Similar to what we were speaking about with gray before. This is the first boy I bought. I don't know what size it is, but it's a patent leather kind of dove gray with this really lovely um, gunmetal kind of chain. And you know, it's a, it's a typical boy. It's one big pocket, you know, with a zip compartment. Um, I do love this bag. I don't wear it a ton, again, because like I find like, I think I'm more of a more warm tone person than a cool tone, and this is a very cool tone bag. So I'm not going to get rid of this, but I don't wear it a ton. Okay. Then, I might, this Chanel tote bag, as far as tote bags go, I really love it because it's got a little edge because the chains are like kind of rockery cool. Um, I like the detail of the, the, the Chanel logo. You just kind of clip it open and it has two big compartments and a middle zip compartment. It's a very, very um, easy to use bag. I just don't carry totes like this much anymore. So I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. Okay. Then the rest of these are keepers. But I have this nude. So of my boys. See what happens? I don't know where I... Oh, here. So you know, this is a smaller boy. Um, in like a nude. I don't know what kind of leather this is. But anyway, in this new leather, I love this bag. This is a really cute, um, you know, part tweed, part leather Chanel flat bag with the chain top handle and then the adjustable strap and it's long enough to be crossbody. So that, that's a great fall bag. This is the only wallet on a chain I own. Um, and I actually, especially through Corona, have liked this because if I'm just running out quickly for something, I'll just throw cash, a card, and my phone in here. Um, or I'll use this and throw it in, you know, in like a tote bag or something. Um, and this is like the, um, it has the Chanel, the metal plate on the top of it. This white bag, I initially bought to wear to something fancy that did not end up happening. Oh, there's money in here. I can hear change knocking around. Okay. But I wore, I've been wearing this a lot this summer. It's, I really like the, um, the big pearls on the strap here that spell out Chanel. Oh, I was like, is one missing? No. And then there's another one over here with like the CC logo. Super cute. And then last, but certainly not least, this bag. This was another impulse buy. I saw this print. Actually, it was it was not an impulse buy. The, um, one of the people that works in the Chanel boutique at Neiman Marcus in White Plains texted me a bunch of pictures and the second I saw this, I was like, I'm coming in to get that. So this is, um, actually it's a classic flap because it has the inside flap and, you know, it's a beautiful bag and then it has this amazing like neon tweed Chanel print. I love it. Okay, so that's me on the floor with almost all my bags. I do have some more in there, but this is the bulk of them. So, let me know your thoughts on, do we keep or do we get rid of? I don't know. But these are all keepers, and my next chore now is to organize them. See you next time, bye. One other thing, I forgot I also have this Bottega bag, which is, this leather smells so good. It's the big, oh God, there's stuff in here. It's 
It's the big like pouchy clutch. Again, I love this like it again reminds me of like a big like 90s clutch kind of thing. Um, it's weird the can't there. That's more the color. See, it's kind of a know what color you call this but you know brownie burgundy color this way it looks darker than it is I think but anyway I didn't want to neglect that because that's an important bag and I'm keeping it good morning it's Tuesday August 11th so pardon Again, the speech, I switched out my Invisaligns last night, and so actually, these are making me a little more lispy than the other ones did. Anywho, I, um, so, let's see. The reason I'm doing a quick video this morning is because on Sunday, I filmed my handbag collection video, which was largely the handbags in my, um, in my entryway closet where I keep most of my bags but I'm in my bedroom and in this closet right here um, I do have some bags and it it dawned on me that I while I'm not gonna go through every single one of them right now there are some that should not be excluded so let's see okay so this what is this oh that's a sweater okay these are the hand, some of these are empty boxes. The boxes are just empty. But the bags that I feel like I should not exclude are, one, I have this like Chanel envelope clutch that while I don't carry clutches a ton, I do love this bag. Two, I totally, actually I need to move this to the other closet. I forgot about this Chanel bag. So this Chanel bag, has this really pretty kind of like ombre top of the CC top handle this you can see this is all kind of got an ombre effect crossbody bag and that's the inside so that is one Chanel bag that I neglected to show you and actually let me turn off the light because I feel like the light is making the color see it's better there um, so there's that. And then also, I feel like I should show you this. This was a gift from Alicia a couple of years ago. This is a CH Carolina Herrera bag. Really cute with this, um, like metal top handle and then adjustable chain strap. So that's a super cool bag. Um, this my Balenciaga bag that I'm contemplating what I, whether I should whether it should stay or go, but I do love it because I do love the um, the gold detailing on that, and it's in really I wore it a lot, but it's actually in very good condition. And then this other Lady Dior bag, which was my very first one, which I bought quite a long time ago, which has the pearl like strap here. It has a long strap. The, the new Dior's, the long strap, the new Lady Dior's, the long straps are long enough for, for cross handled. This one is not. And this is also the old one that, um, the new ones have a top, like a flap. The old ones have a zip top. So there's that. And then this Dior bag, which is quite pretty. I can't remember the name of this Dior bag. They don't make it anymore, I don't think. But it's really pretty, like, not quite a tote bag, um, but a pretty big, like, just wide open bag. Has some of the Dior, like, hardware. And the inside is, um, like, kind of a pretty, like, magenta -y color. Yeah. And then the other ones are, this is a Chloe bag. Um... This bag I actually love. Maybe I'll wear this today. This is a 3.1 Philip Lim bag that I got years ago and I, I love it. I have to, I have to, I have to really, I've got to bring some of these up front. But anyway, those are the other bags that I did not want to fail, fail to draw attention to. Um, yeah. So I guess that is it. And then I'm off to work today. I went out last night with a friend for dinner. It was really fun. It was very hot, but it was really nice to do that. 
and I should show you my dress because um, the Anina Bing dress that I wore in my one of my recent videos also comes in plain black and that's what I'm wearing today. I, j I ordered it and I just got it because I love that I love the shape of that dress so here it is. Same dress just in plain black. So I haven't put on any shoes yet because I don't know what I'm wearing but that's largely the get up day. And oh, Chanel necklace. Um, so that's the story. I've got the workers outside. Look, you can see them like moving stuff there. I'm waiting for them to take this like plastic off my windows. It's all crumpled like that because I was trying to, you can't even open the window. Anyway, <laughs> have a great day.